think she was maybe eight pounds when she had her transplant. People say, how did you get through that? I couldn't do that. Said, you have to. There's not an option. You have to. Cord blood was her best chance. So cord blood is collected from a, the cord that is clamped after a baby is born. And it's very, very rich in stem cells. Every day around the country, there's cord blood transplants for uh, kids with leukemia, with severe combined immunodeficiencies, and with a number of other diseases. So it's something that's very simple for a parent to do, but it can be life-saving for a very sick child. I found out about cord blood donation after my first OBGYN appointment. We decided to donate our son's cord blood because we realized how valuable cord blood is and it is almost always thrown out as medical waste. One day my son might be able to tell the story that he saved a life by donating his cord blood. After I had spent a lot of time in the hospital with Shai, I researched her disease, I found the top experts in the country, I took her to see them, we did everything at the cutting edge, but still it wasn't enough. The foundation has become world famous and I must think that that's a great legacy to my child, that people around the world have heard her story, but I think any parent would tell you I would rather have my child be alive and not be doing this. I'll never know who it came from. I'll never get to thank that person, but whoever donated that cord, I mean, they saved her life. She wouldn't have made it without this transplant. It meant our little girl is now finishing up first grade. It meant that she can have a birthday party with ponies and have a cat and have a life. Thank you from all the parents that are like me that might not have their child without that donation that was made. They gave her a chance to live and be a happy, healthy little girl.